It's time for Orchard Skills. Orchard Core consists of two different targets. One, Orchard Core Framework, an application framework for building modular, multi-tenant applications on ASP.NET Core. Two, Orchard Core CMS, a content management system built on top of the Orchard Core Framework. It's important to note the differences between the framework and the CMS. Some developers who create software as a service applications may only be interested in the modular framework. Others may want to build administratable websites that focus on the content and managing the system, therefore building modules to enhance their sites or the community. Today on Orchard Skills, we'll be adding Orchard Core CMS functionality to the Raspberry Pi IoT application. Please stay with us and we'll get started. Welcome back. In a previous video, we implemented settings in an Orchard Core CMS module. In order for us to run the application, we needed to log into the administrator dashboard, add the Raspberry Pi functionality by enabling the module. Then in order to get access to the relay functionality, we needed to specify the address to get to a specific page. Wouldn't it be great if we could automatically load the Raspberry Pi functionality and create a menu interface to the relay page? Well, with Orchard Core CMS functionality installed and a recipe, we can. Let's clone the source code for the module settings we implemented in a previous video. With your favorite web browser, head over to github.com slash Orchard Skills slash Orchard Skills dot Orchard Core dot module settings. And let's go ahead and click on the code button and click on open with GitHub desktop. Then go ahead and click on the button open GitHub desktop dot exe and then click on the clone button. Okay. Great. I will place a link to the GitHub repository in the online documentation. Let's launch Visual Studio. Okay, great. So now let's head down to the Raspberry Pi theme and click on the home directory. We will not need this director anymore because everything will be implemented through the recipe. So let's delete this folder. As you can see here, there was nothing inside the index.cshtml anyway. So let's clean this up and delete this directory. Okay, great. Now for us to implement all these different features, we're going to have to modify the recipe. So let's click on the recipe folder and then click on raspberrypi.recipe.json. Now the first thing we want to do is kind of clean up the tags here and let's modify this here and let's add for the tags Raspberry Pi, IoT, and CMS. So after the tags, we're going to need to define some variables for the recipe. So let's do that. So the variables that we'll need are admin URL prefix, home content item ID, and menu content item ID. These variables are used to specify the unique IDs for each of the content items. Okay, let's scroll down here. And you'll notice that here is where we're specifying the different features. Here's all the software as a service features. Now and install the content management features. So let's add those right here. And so as you can see, we're gonna add orchardcore.alias dot admin menu dot auto route menu dot html dot content fields dot content preview dot contents dot contents dot file content definition dot content types dot custom settings dot deployment dot deployment dot remote dot feeds dot flows dot indexing dot layers dot lucene dot lists dot markdown dot media dot menu dot placements dot queries dot short codes dot templates dot title dot templates and dot Widgets. And we will explore all these different features later in future videos. And these are the most common features of the content management. And then instead of specifying a specific area inside the Raspberry Pi theme, we're going to specify an area of orchardcore.contents and then put the variable home content item ID. So that will be the content that we create through the recipe. Okay, great. So the first thing we're going to do is add the content definition and we're going to specify an article where we can actually put information on a web page. And so the first one here is where we define the content type of article, which will have an auto root part, an HTML body part, and a title part. And then we'll go ahead and implement our main menu. This will define the, the main menu. Then here we'll define our homepage, which will be a, a content type article. 
and then we'll have a message saying, welcome to Raspberry Pi, IoT, CMS web application. And then we'll have a title part of home, a subtext of Raspberry Pi, IoT. If we want, we can actually add an image and we'll call it home-bg for background.jpg. Then also, we'd like to add a menu to the admin for the main menu. So we'll have an icon there on the main menu that will give us a link to the main menu content. And that's it. Okay, let's run the application. Let's go up here and click on the green play triangle button, and this will build and run the application. Okay, great. Now you can see here, let's enter in our site name, and you'll notice here it's different now. It defaults as software as a service. So let's click on that and let's select the Raspberry Pi theme. And let's enter username, email, and then our password and password confirmation. And then let's click on the finish setup button. Okay, great. So now we have a menu. It says home and devices. So if we click on devices, we can see that there's a relay. So let's go inside the dashboard and see what changed inside there. So let's click on the login button. Go ahead and log in on sales. Click on the dashboard. You'll notice here, here's the, the menu item that we added to specify the location of the menu. So if we click on that, it brings us to our menu and we can actually look at the home menu, look at the main menu, which has an entry for home and devices and relay. And we can go ahead and modify any of these we just click on edit. We can edit the name of the home or the URL. We can go into devices here, edit that, look at the devices URL. This is a top level menu. And then here's relay. So we can edit that and then that specifies the relay. Then if we go into content, you can, and content items, you notice that we have a home page and we have a main menu. So if we go into the home page, this is our title, our link, and then our HTML, which says, welcome to the Raspberry Pi IoT CMS web application. And then here's our content types of article and menu that we defined. And it also includes the media library. And here's the menu here. So you can create a new menu. And in the design now, we have different settings for zones, placement, short codes, templates, and our themes. Let's go back to the main application. Go back here. And we can just click on the visit site icon. This is something new that Orchard Core just added recently. You can switch between dark mode and light mode. Let's go visit site. And so now you can click on the home menu or click on the device menu and click on relay. And that brings us to our relay. We're going to turn on and off, on and off, and we'll go back to our home menu. So now we have a nice interface to our application through our menus. Isn't that great? To recap, we cloned the Orchard Skills module settings repository. We deleted the home view in the Raspberry Pi theme. We modified the recipe and added the content management features along with the Raspberry Pi module. We defined the menu and home page in the recipe. We built and ran the application. We set up the Orchard Core CMS web application with the Raspberry Pi recipe. We went into the dashboard and seen all the new content management functionality. We went to the home page and seen the menu and finally clicked on the relay to see the IoT relay functionality. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.